Uh, so we have a, a question here. Uh, during order, you're wrong. Um, some people just have different metabolisms. Some people are just skinny. You can eat all day long and stay crackhead lean. That's, that's, that's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. Look at the three people in this video here. We've got myself, Natasha, and Tori. All, right? all of us, high carb, low fat vegan. All of us could, and there's big gaps in fitness there as well. You know, there's big gaps in fitness between all three of us, but we all look very slimmer, uh, slim, <laughs> slimmer. We're all very slimmer. So if you want to be slimmer, then eat like us, move like us. Simple as that. And there's, there's no there's no such thing as body type in terms of metabolism. All right. Yes, there's body type. Some people are six foot, seven foot. Some people are four foot ten. I get it. But everybody could be a greyhound. Everyone can. Some people be greyhound with maybe more muscular calves or a bit of a straighter body. Some people have like a small waist and more curvy hips. I get that. But everybody can be slim. We are all born to be slimmer, slim humans, all right? Now, I could put on 50 kilos in six months. Easy. Easy. 50 kilos, six months, 3,000 calories a day. Easy, easy, all right? And I will put money on the table for anyone who wants to put on 50 grand and says, I can't put on 50 kilos in six months. Let's do it. Put your money where your mouth is. Actually, I'd probably die from a heart attack from the amount of steroids I'd have to take. But hypothetically, you know, 50, I mean, if I had it properly medically supervised, I wouldn't know what the fuck I was doing with that much gear anyway, so... But I've, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he's like, he put on 50 kilos in six months. And I was thinking, fuck, that's crazy. That is crazy. Can you imagine doing an extra 50 kilos of muscle on? Um, so yeah, that is possible. That is possible. And if I could guarantee it'd be safe for my health, and I had a, a doctor, ex experienced steroid coach, not even a doctor, just a steroid coach who knows what they're doing, um, you know, then, you know, 50 kilos, six months, 3,000 calories a day. It's possible. It's all about tweaking your hormones. So at least we're going to say 30. Let's go 30 kilos then for the people who are totally skeptical. 30 kilos? Yeah. Easy. Easy, bro. Easy. So um, see, how we met a guy the other day. And he went from 68 kilos to 118. Six months. Cyclist to swolger. Uh, a very interesting story. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get an interview with that guy. And Danny, his name was, and we'll have a chat. It's very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Similar sort of uh, backgrounds there. Um, Aussie's living in Thailand, but anyway, it, it is the whole thing that people have been metabolisms. Yeah, I mean, people fuck up their metabolisms, starvation and dieting. Yeah, for sure. But you see, um, us three in this video, we all eat well, we train well, you know, we sleep well, go to bed early most of the time, things like that. But you'll see big gaps in fitness, massive gap between me and Tori, big gap between me and Tasha, big gap between Natasha and Tori. You know, three people look very similar. Massive gaps in fitness, you know, massive gaps in fitness. So, but how do you explain that? And massive gaps in age as well and genders. All right. So you give me anybody. Remember, even to bring up, mentioned Banana Girl again. You know, she was she used to weigh seventy three kilos in two thousand eight, and now she's like fifty something, super lean. You know, not that not not that fit either anymore. Not super fit, but still super slim. High carb, low fat, vegan. So if you got the weight you want to lose. Ride the bike. And then when you get super skinny, you can quit the bike if you want. But you, I think you won't quit the bike because you'll go, wow, the bicycle is such a transformative tool. It's good for society. It's very peaceful. It's very safe. It's very karmic. You're not going to kill someone's kid, cat, or dog riding your bike around town, are you? But you could jump in a car, just go to the shops, harmless exercise, and kill someone. Ride a bike. We need more bike riders. Oh, it's too dangerous in my place to ride a bike. There's too many cars. Will be part of the solution versus part of the pollution. Ride a bike. Be part of this, part of the change. You know, part of the change or part of the problem. So our choice at the moment. So, is is so people are entirely get to the point of video explain why some people can be skinny no matter what they eat. That's bullshit. They're cow restriction or they've got some sort of drug habit. You know. And and people are well, you must be on a drug. You must be a drug habit as well. You look like a little bunch of methies. So I was like, um, no, because. Hmm. Someone's going to burn out out there. Uh, because if that was true, then how did a uh, banana girl lose 23 kilos? I think I think in those nine years, I saw Freely have maybe two cups of coffee. And that's a punch out an e-book. 
you know, one day just get just get it done. That was in New York, I think 2011. Two cups. So, sorry, two cups of coffee in nine years, decade almost. That's not drug usage. Uh, so there you go. You don't even need to do stims. Stims, you know, at a certain age maybe it can be all right, but if you're young, I don't reckon touch them. It's just not worth it on your adrenals. Or if you do have them, very, 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 very rarely. I just, I don't know what to say to some people who believe that, you know, that there's actually difference in metabolisms that some people can just eat rice and just stay skin and some people can eat rice and get obese. How can we prove that to the people out there? How about you come with me to Thailand and I'll get you an incredible motherfucking shape. Actually, better yet, I don't want to do that because I, I value my lifestyle. And I don't want to just be training anyone full time anymore like I've done in the past. But how about I'll sign you up with a coach, a live-in coach, and you pay them fifty thousand bucks or ten thousand bucks, whatever they're happy with. What do you have? And they'll live with you here in Thailand, all right, twenty-four-seven, and they know what to do: rice, sugar, fruit, you know. And they'll watch what you're doing. They ride with you. If you want that, then message me. You know, I'm, I'm sure I've got some people who would be your live-in coach for whatever you would pay them per month. I'm sure that I can guarantee I can find people like that, right? And uh, you're going to lose so much weight, man. It's never going to come back as long as you stay in the lifestyle. But as soon as you stop, I mean, look at the people that come to Chiang Mai. There's that, there's that kid from uh, Europe, UK a few years back, came over, lost 75 kilos in a year. Every, I just see him every day, just randomly, just riding around. He came out of 7-Eleven, like bottles of soda, sugary, just like guggling, just glugging it down. Just losing weight. I saw him on YouTube the other day. I was like, what are these looking like now? Just leaving leaner. You know what I mean? So it's like, you can turn a little bit of, bit of a weirdo, ungrateful sort of whatever. But, you know, squeeze an, squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. You don't get mango juice. So the personality aside, the template fucking works. Durin Rider's advice works. If you want to lose drastic weight, become incredibly strict about cutting out the oil, about cutting out the animal products. Be strict. Strict as a mother, strict as a 1980s mass teacher. You're so strict when they get constipated, they have to get work out the pencil. That's how strict you want to be. Be strict. Strict. With your fat intake. Seriously, strict. With that fat intake, man. Just militant. No oil. No animal. Strict. Be, be obsessive about it. And you will get so fucking lean that people on the internet will say, wow, bro, cars make you fat and you need to eat a steak because you're too lean. And you can say back, which one, bro? Cars make you fat? Or the, what's the deal? Oh, I'm too lean. Which one is it? Because it can't be both. Oh, but yeah, everyone's got different metabolism. And there we are, chasing our tail again. So some people on the internet will be convinced some people will never want to be convinced. Some people see the truth, some people won't. And they'll live horrible, miserable lives of mediocrity, worshipping that status, that God of public approval, you know, the, the, the status of public opinion, the, the status quo. You know? just, just chasing their status and the status quo. I, I, can think, I couldn't think of a worse way to live in the Western world with all this opportunity than to be stuck in this job to bowl this shit we don't need to impress people, don't even give a fuck about. Those people don't give a fuck about us, other than maybe they might be interested in us because they get some sex from us or a shout out from us or whatever, or a job prospect or whatever. Yeah, like, there's nothing worse than that, man. Like, get out of that matrix of carbophobia. You know, it is hilarious. So this whole thing that people do, it's just nonsense. I can make anyone obese. I can make anyone as lean as fit as me. Maybe unless you're 80. Still make you lean, but you won't be you won't be smashed up the door in thirty one minutes or thirty five minutes if you're eighty. Okay, I get that, but I can make you. I can make anyone super as lean as me. I can make anyone as fat as a few characters in Chiang Mai. All right, I can do that. You know, the old the old, the old gang, you know, the old KFC gang. So I can make anyone obese. Any Joe, I can make obese, and any Jane, I can make super lean. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. But this is this is how it is, man. You know, and people will say whatever, and I was like, mate, get me on Jordan Peterson, get me on Joe Rogan. I'll do it, man. Hands up. I'll debate anyone out there. I'll prove a point. Get me on any celebrity TV show. Anyone wants to lose weight, 
I'll fucking strip them the fuck down on national TV. And won't be, they won't be crying like I'm the biggest loser. They won't be pumped full of phetamine drugs or diuretics. No, no, no. We'll do it the right way, the real way. It might take a little bit longer, but I doubt it. Because if you're really fucking committed, you will lose a shit ton of weight on this lifestyle. When you, when you are militant and strict, strict, then you will get insane results. Insane results.